I look a mess today, but the weather is not kind, okay? So it's a little chilly. It was storming last night and it's still a little wet and gloomy today. So this this is this is what I'm on, okay? Y'all know me, I've been telling y'all I'm lazy. I'm not I'm not about to be up here all dressed up. <laughs> It's not me, y'all. And like I said, we're going to keep it real here. And I'm not about to sit here and dress up to the nines just to take it back off. No. Anyway, today's video is about this trend I see going around lately. And I'll make another video about trends specifically. But this whole no oils, no butters trends... How do I feel about it? Complete BS. Complete BS. Because as young children or even, you know, as adults or um, getting to know your natural hair, when the natural hair movement first started, it was all about the oils and the butters. And this movement, I think, I heard started in 2005, but I didn't start my natural journey until 2011. And oils have always had a place in my hair regimen. Now, over time, um, I've tried to figure out what works for me and things I have to do differently because the length of my hair reacts to products and things differently. So the shorter my hair is, um, I can put oils on my hair, but the longer my hair gets, um, my hair retains heat, it retains moisture, it retains oils, so I stuck to oiling my scalp. Now, when it comes to butters, I can use butters on my short, my shorter hair and longer hair, like I said, um, butters are pretty, pretty much a solid oil, so... I can't just use a butter on my hair and I can't use a butter that is um, a very large percent of, of oils. I mean, I can, but it has to be of a thick consistency. So this whole trend, I'm calling BS because me personally, oils and butters work for me. So I'm not going to stray away from something that works for me and then try something else and then my hair ends up in shambles because there's been plenty of natural hair trends that I've tried you know what what the hype is about and then my hair ends up a big fat knotty nappy mess and then detangling in the week of the preset for that week of my hair is just a hot mess doesn't hold moisture or anything so I'm absolutely not absolutely not doing this trend because first of all i have a very dry scalp and if i think if i think of not oiling my scalp flakes baby flakes everywhere christmas time you could build a snowman okay i'm not i'm not about to sit here and play with myself like that i'm not playing myself like that for some views i'm not doing it now i will say that if you're someone who doesn't know what to do with their hair or they're unfamiliar with this whole natural hair thing and they're new or they feel like their hair regimen just you know is lacking something or there's stuff going on and they just feel like things aren't working then by all means I say give it a try because never forget your hair is not like everyone else's and everyone else's hair is not like yours so what doesn't work for someone might work for you what works for you might not work for someone else natural hair is very diverse there's a lot of textures there's a lot of colors there's a lot of porosities there's a lot of densities so why would you assume that when you tell someone to use no oils and no butters, that is going to work the same for everyone because it's not. And I will also say this, when it comes to this whole trend, 
I feel like that there's a lot of natural hair YouTubers and um, professional hairstylists that are feuding over this. There are hairstylists that say don't use it. There are hairstylists that are saying use it. Then you have YouTubers that are saying do use it. There's YouTubers saying don't use it. And it's like everyone is telling you what to do with your hair. And me personally, there's nothing wrong with, um, you know, oh, I've tried this product. You guys should try it too. This works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. But this whole demanding like you should not or you should, I feel like that needs to be stopped. It's out of control. It's seriously out of control because I don't understand how... And I'm not bashing the natural hair community whatsoever, but I don't understand how y'all are so diligent on um, porosity and density and texture and all this other crazy stuff. And then you want to sit here and tell everyone to do the same thing. When you're telling people that not everything works, you know what I'm saying? Like if you have someone that has high porosity hair, and you're saying you can't use hair for hair products for people that have low porosity hair, but then you're turning around and telling people not to use oils and butters, like everyone should stop doing it. You literally just put two people in two different categories. And now you're going to take one thing and give it to both of them, but you know people's hair reacts different. I don't understand the purpose in that. I really don't. And the whole feud between the natural hair community and the professionals, I want these people to understand. I want both sides of this party to understand. As natural hair YouTubers, we have not always had the greatest experience with the professionals. Because before this whole natural hair movement thing started, it was relaxers, it was silk presses, and these are things that we still do and you know from time to time or some people choose to do it whatever the case may be but the professionals have not always been kind to our natural hair off of a profit but i will say this about professionals they are licensed so sometimes when they suggest something you should listen i'm not saying always but sometimes so these two people are clashing heads. As of right now, natural hair stylists are becoming more well known. People are experimenting or doing better or have more experience with natural hair and natural hair styles. Um, so I feel like in this specific, in this specific trend, I feel like these two communities need to come together and to have an understanding that we learned everything we learned from YouTube because at the time professional hairstylists did not care about us and our hair and our health. But then we also need the professionals because they have a license, they have tips, they have, you know, things that you should listen to, things you could adhere, take advice, things that are of use, you know, that are of use. So we need to come together and be like, look, this may or may not work, but this is a suggestion. And this is what I feel like this trend has become a demand. And a lot of these trends have become a demand instead of a suggestion. Because if I do something for my hair and I say this works for me, I'm always going to tell you that this may not work for you. So if it doesn't work for you, I'm not going to be at fault because I said I like it, but you not might not like it. But I think it's worth a try. That is something that I feel like needs to be approached differently because everyone has this whole, well, I'm a professional and I know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm a natural hair um, guru on YouTube and I know what I'm talking about, which, you know, that's not the case for everyone. Not everyone needs to expel these products from their daily or weekly routines. And that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about that for the most part. 
is I feel like this trend has gotten out of hand that there's a lot of people that are making demands instead of suggestions. There's a big difference between a demand and a suggestion. We need to start working on our suggestions, okay? Because there's a lot of people out here don't use butters and oils because it worked for me. Keyword, me, it worked for me. It doesn't say that it works for everyone, it worked for me. So what works for you, Good for you. You know your hair and you figure that out. But that doesn't apply to everyone else. And I wouldn't sit here and tell everyone to do something that I feel like will not be beneficial. Now, something that I feel like is a must is deep conditioning. That's a must. That's something that has been from point A all the way to point Z. Deep conditioning is a must, but telling someone to not use oils, to not use butters, to not use specific products that normally work for them is a no-no. Because y'all run around here with all this crazy information, and I'm not saying it's crazy because some of it is scientific, but at the end of the day, we all know that natural hair is, has a very big variety. And I've mentioned this before. Natural hair is not all one in the same. Natural hair is different. Everyone's head is different. So expecting everyone to not use oils and butters is absolutely ridiculous. Now, what I do think how people should approach the situation along with suggesting, but to just, you know, I'm trying something new. I wanna see if it works for me. And if it works for me, maybe it'll work for you. But I'm not about to say I quitted oils and butters and you should too. We need, we need to stop doing that. We need to stop doing that because this is getting a little bit out of hand. It's getting a little out of control. And on on like some real, some real shit, on some real. I don't, I really don't understand the thought process behind it at all. Because we have sat here and made different categories for each other. But then we're going to sit here and tell everyone to do something or to not do something. And I don't think people are thinking about that. I really don't. So it's like, you can't use these products because of this density. You can't use these products because of this porosity. You can't use these products because of um, the texture of your hair. It's not going to work. But then you're going to sit here and tell all these people that they need to use one thing when you just sat here and told them that they need to use different things. It's all contradictory and it's not making no sense. Now, me personally, I don't know nothing about that density, porosity, none of that. I just use what works for me. I never got into all of that stuff, which maybe it will benefit if I learn my hair porosity or if I take the time to learn about my hair density, this, that, and the third. Maybe it'll do me some benefit. Maybe things will work out. But I like how things are going. I like doing things the way I like to do them. I have my hair on a regimen and it works for me. If I stray off of that regimen, then my hair becomes a big fat mess. I'm doing what works for me. The only thing I ever do differently is maybe exchange or switch up products because, you know, not all products work the same or over time formulas change or your hair reacts different, stuff like that. So when it comes to products, I, I like to change up stuff, but my regimen is usually pretty much the same. So I'm not going to ask someone to do something outside of their regimen. Because if your normal regimen is to add oils and you tell me to take that away, and now all of a sudden it's Dandruff City, you can't, you can't be surprised that people are mad at you. I mean, they don't have to do what you're telling them to do, but you're making it to be as such a derog... You're making it to be as such a strong demand that they feel like it's something they need to do when they really don't. Now, like I said, if you're lost in your hair journey, you don't know what to do, you're struggling, by all means, give it a try. But if you know your hair and you know what works, do not fall for this trend. Do not fall for any trend because y'all hear my stomach growling? 
I don't know why, because I just ate. But like I was saying, if you've never used rice water a day in your life and your hair is fine and then you use it, there's like a 50-50% chance that it'll work or it won't. Maybe it will work. Maybe it'll be a good addition. Maybe it won't. But again, you know, you have something that's set for you. So don't fix what's not broken. I refuse to hop on this trend because I know for a fact, and I haven't even done it on purpose, me skipping out on oils just on a pure accident is a hot mess. My scalp was dry. It was flaky. It was itchy. It was gross. So I'm not about to sit here and hop on some trend because everybody else is doing it. It don't work for me. So I'm not about to. My bad, y'all. That was my child. You know. <sighs> what is life being a mom? Your kids just always want something. I need some water. I gotta use the bathroom. They always come to you about something. Now, mind you, we have two bathrooms in this house. Why does he want to use this bathroom? I don't know. We have a bathroom downstairs. But anyway, um, that pretty much sums up my video. Is to do what works for you. And to not pay attention to these trends. If it works, leave it as is. If it don't work, go ahead and try and incorporate something new. But I'm telling y'all, me personally, me and these curls, me and these kinks, this head of hair, these tresses, yeah, we stick into the oils and the butters. We stick into them because I be damned if I break something, then I have to turn around and fix it. In a 30 day detox, my hair know what it wants after one use. After one use, my hair knows. I, I, it'll take me 30 days to figure that out. And I'm sorry, I'm not doing it y'all. I think that's just absolute foolishness, but like I said, if you want to try it, go ahead and try it. But this whole making it a demand thing is absolutely ridiculous. It should be suggested more than it's being demanded. So that's it. That's the end of this video. I'm about to get back to watching TV. I'm about to put me on some hot, spicy cinnamon chai tea. Cause it's a little chilly in here the weather's a little gloomy i'm trying to set the mood put on a nice movie um you know my kids is going to be playing with their toys this that and the third what they're doing now pretty much but i'll just be watching a movie but yeah thank y'all for watching i love you guys so much oh and hello to my new family members you're always welcome we we gonna be lit okay in due time like i keep telling y'all in due time we gonna be lit okay we we gonna be in a good place in due time no rush but we're definitely about to be the place to be all right this family reunion is definitely about to be it's about to be good this about to be ribs hot dogs um burgers homemade burgers like ground beef put in the onions and peppers and cheese like yeah yeah authentic real everything's gonna be great great i'm telling y'all but anyways that was just my take on this whole no oils and butters thing foolishness but yeah i will check y'all later and see you in the next video bye